Hi guys, Abs here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take a regular silo site, how you can turbocharge it, and how you can make it into a super silo site. I'm going to be showing you how you can boost relevancy for that site even more, how you can diversify your anchor text even more, and how you can be in a position to rank for even more keywords. And at the end of the video, because I understand that not everybody actually uses silo sites, I'm going to be showing you how you can use this same method and the same technique to to boost your already non-silo site and how you can make that into a super site as well without having to change your structure at all and I'm hoping that this is going to better explain our SERP fuel technique which I actually sent you a PDF about before so if you haven't read the PDF about the SERP fuel technique guys then I urge you to read that before you actually watch this video because it's going to really help um, explain and make help you understand this video even more so i've actually created a presentation so let me go from the let me start from the beginning from this so anyway this is a regular silo site guys regular silo sites i'm going to give you a brief explanation of them um but they're really good um they're very well structured um they ba they're all based around relevancy um they're tightly linked together in such a way um so let me give you an example here we've got these light green boxes here which you can call them child pages or supporting articles and they're actually created to support and rank and boost the relevancy of our main silo landing pages oops let me go back <laughs> okay so of our main silo landing pages so these in green here guys you can look at them as your main silo landing pages or category pages but they're your main silo landing pages and articles that are posted in these main silo landing pages are all going to be about gardens or fertilizers or landscaping and they're going to be um, posted into their particular um, as their particular supporting article um, but the problem with this guys is everything that we put on the site is all created to rank our main silo landing pages yes you can rank for these posts here but not all the time guys and the reason behind it is because you might actually have 15 supporting articles for these silo pages now these silo landing pages might only be linking out to five of these articles yes you're going to get links to the other articles from related posts or what not you but your internal linking structure needs to be strong and internal linking structure is very vital um, to the way you know that we can tell out we can tell google on what we're in emphasizing on and what they should be ranking um, in the search engines um, and the way a typical silo site is built is built in such a way whereby you pick your silo landing pages so you might have five or six silo landing pages um, and then every other article that goes in them landing pages are all built or, or all created to boost up them silo landing pages but we actually put a lot of effort into these child posts as well on these supporting articles but they don't get a lot of love from our actual website so I'm going to be showing you how you can take this regular silo site and how you can make it into a super silo site a site like this that sends love to each and every post on your website regardless of that post being a landing page as a silo landing page or a supporting article now if you have a look at this guys then you can actually look at each one of these supporting articles themselves in a way as if they are silo pages as well and the reason behind that is because these um, boxes in red are fueled posts and this is our SERP fuel technique and this is why I'm asking I'm hoping that you've already read the PDF manual um, and these are fueled posts and these fueled posts do nothing other than link back to the posts that you've actually created them from or whatever you're creating for and obviously they're content rich they're using diverse anchor text they're using multimedia as well and they're all going to be revolving around this post here so it's not going to be revolving around gardens it's going to be revolving about garden ideas these here are going to be revolving around garden furniture and not just gardens and in return what's going to happen is you're building more internal links to these child pages you're diversifying the anchor text even more and you're sending and you're building up the authority for these pages even more and these are going to start to rank in google and at the same time guys because this is a child page and you've built the authority on this page even more with the internal links and the diversifying of the anchor text and what not you then it's going to also boost up your main silo landing page and in return what you get is you get multiple pages ranking in google you get your sites ranking for even more pages sorry for even more keywords and your child posts become type of like child silo pages uh, as opposed to a child supporting post or a, a child post 
So anyway, let's zoom into one of these categories and let me show you exactly how these fueled posts work. So let's have a look at the gardens category here, guys. Again, guys, I've only gone three levels deep here um, for these child posts. Um, but as soon as you get like 10 or 15 posts deep, and that's when you start realizing that, you know what, your older posts, they don't get linked to as much. They're only getting a few links and they're really not sending a lot of traffic and they're really not doing a lot um, of value on themselves other than sending over value to your child landing page which is good but you know what we can get much more out of this so the way this works guys is we create fueled posts and our fueled posts are going to be revolving around our main topics now you might be thinking hang on abs why are we creating fueled posts for our for our silo pages when we've actually got child pages for our silo pages well you know what if you can do why not don't forget these fueled posts don't link back um, sorry they're not linked to from anywhere on the website the only link back to the post that you're actually creating them for so anyway let me just give you an example so you better understand so you've got bush gardenings you've got garden box you've got garden ridge you've got botanical gardens olive garden and then for garden ideas you've got small garden ideas garden bed ideas diy garden ideas herb garden ideas front garden ideas um basically what's happening is these are all kind of like supporting posts for this supporting article which is also a supporting article for your silo landing page you're boosting up the authority for this page you're boosting up the internal links for this page you're diversifying the anchor text on this page with all of these very similar and related terms and this is going to gain authority it's going to start ranking in google and because this has gained authority it's also going to be passing over more authority to your main page which in return is going to rank even higher guys and the same is true for all of your pages here you go out there and you create these fueled posts um for each one of your pages guys and in return you've got like a silo within a silo within a silo within a silo um and all of them silos come together um to rank this main silo up so it does work into a real super uh, into a really really super silo site and it works absolutely fantastic guys we're doing this at the moment um and we're seeing results with this and you're going to see results as well now i've actually seen a comment where somebody's made a note about well you know what how good or how well is a spun content is our spinned articles going to work for these fueled for these fueled posts um, if they're linking back to your main site wouldn't it cause more harm than good well you know what that's entirely up to you to decide but what i'm going to tell you is that i'm personally using content from article builder so we use content from article builder um, for all of our fueled posts but all of our main pages are all unique content so all of our article content are readable they get indexed and they're working great for us if you're going to spin it to spin or not to spin guys i'm going to leave that entirely up to you because you know if you've had something written that's been manually spun and every time you get a nice spun version of that it's nicely and it's nice and readable then you know what what's you know what's to stop you from using that but yeah this is how you can use your main original content along with curated content even or content from article builder or even spinned content to boost up your main silo site and turn it into a super silo site okay so anyway this is how you take a regular silo site and how you turn it into a super silo site and now what i'm going to do guys is show you how this same principle works with a non silo structured site so with a non silo structured site guys you'd make a post and your regular wordpress website links back to that post in its regular structure and as soon as your posts start to get um, older then they start to lose links but with the WP SERP fuel method or the SERP fuel technique, it turns your site into a super site. You make the post as usual, your WordPress sites links to that post as usual, but at the same time, you're creating these fueled posts revolving around topics of that main post using diverse anchor text, which is all linking back to that main post guys so anyway this is exactly how you can use the SERP fuel technique on silo sites and non-silo sites and how you can turn them and change them into super silo sites or super sites as well now i mean you might not be liking the terminology with super sites guys i really didn't know what else to call it but you know what it's either a turbocharged silo site or it's a silo site within a silo site um or, or i don't know what you want to call it guys but i'm calling it a super site um, and the reason behind it is because you get the opportunity 
to use hundreds and hundreds of multiple keywords, guys, and hundreds and hundreds of different kind of anchor text to link back to your posts, and you really get to boost up the relevancy factors, really get to boost up the internal linking, and really start to get them rankings for not tens or fifteens of keywords, but hundreds of keywords, guys. So anyway, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy this video.